So well, installation of the combo receiver is a relatively straightforward process. So what we have uh, outside at this point is a UHF aerial and a satellite dish both feeding in here. And if we look on the back of the box we can see that we'll take the feed from the UHF aerial and we'll feed it into the antenna in here, okay? And this will bring in the digital terrestrial iris channels. And then what we have is we have an LNB input here taking the feed normally from the Astro 2 satellite to give the, the BBCs, etc. Now the next important thing here is um, uh, the USB port here where we could add on something like a, a, an external hard drive. Uh, we'd have here a, a HDMI output or the choice of a SCART output, okay? Or uh, alternatively the RCAs, but they're rarely used. Now the advantage of course using HDMI output is for any of the HD channels we can get the full HD effect on the TV. Um, the reason that SCART is still relatively popular is a lot of televisions uh, don't have HDMI outputs and what the, it, they'll be forced to use the SCART for that reason. And then we have just um, the power lead here which we have with a, a three pin plug adapter uh, on this particular model and then we just have an on off switch in this. So we just put it to the on position there and what we're going to do here is we'll just come along and first of all I'm just going to insert in the HDMI lead here. Next I'll come along I'll take um, the input from the UHF aerial, push it in here and then finally, excuse me, I'll come along here and what I'll do is I'll, um, um, normally this would be a screw on F connector, in this case I'm just using a push on F connector simply because it's more convenient and I'll push this in here and if we pu push in the power lead here, what we can do at that point is we can actually just turn around the box and um, what we'll do here, because we're using this, we'll just come and we'll use a um, uh, an input here to make sure that it's on the HDMI inputs on it, okay? And we can see it just flicks up there at that particular point in time. So that's it, um, an overview of the installation of a combo receiver.